Greetings, I'm John the Spirit, Pyanodon is at it again, and welcome to Modded Factorio Super Shorts. We are now in possession of Pyanodon's alternative energy, which contains power and totally revamps um, the power system in Pyanodons. There's also a total tech tree overhaul, which I'm very excited about because it means we can make progress that we can feel fairly quickly. Although some say that the progress is kind of fake, but it, at least it will feel real. I have a couple extra settings, raw coal size and richness is increased because we need a lot of coal early game, at least in my last attempt to play through the alpha, this is the beta. But I also have a small tasty little RSO um, setting that you can find in mod settings that has a global richness multiplier of 100 so that we can make sure we never really have to go too far for ores. Um, but also you can always just add more ores if you want to by spawning them and using the editor. We'll be fine, we'll figure it out. As always, cliffs are off, enemy bases are off, pollution is off, and we can press play. In this version, you do not get, like, the initial starting assembling machine, but this is for a good reason, which is that we will have an assembling machine very soon. The first science pack is the automation science pack. You'll notice that that old red science pack has become Pi Science Pack 1, but they are all redrawn anyway, so it doesn't matter. But the automation science pack is smashingly simple. Native flora, planter box, and small parts, all of which seem completely doable, and in fact are. First, to get that native flora, we need a collector, which only requires iron and copper. So let's set up some iron and copper making stuff right now. We'll set up the classic burner mining drill loop. Thanks to Pi Quick Start, I have a fair few extra things I can begin with, including an electric mining drill. The ratios are a little different. One boiler produces 7.5 per second of steam, but a steam engine uses 15, so we need two boilers to a steam engine. Additionally, a boiler consumes 3.7 megawatts, um, but a piece of raw coal is only 3 megawatts, so we need more than one coal per second to run a boiler. Interestingly, one mining drill actually now mines at 2 items per second, and coal has a mining time of 50%, so we'll get 4 coal per second out of this electric mining drill, but I don't really want to use inserters when I am pretty sure inserters do not transfer one item per second, so I need to use two or even more than two inserters. So I'm just going to pump directly from an electric money drill into a boiler, because why not? In entertaining and frightening news, coal in a boiler now turns into ash sometimes at the very end, which means we're just going to start getting a bunch of ash that we don't have any ability to trash right now, but hopefully we get that soon, thank you. Two iron mining drills will support five iron stone furnaces. Thankfully, coal lasts much longer in these. We'll get half an iron per second, so I'll eventually double this. Copper copperates identically, so we'll just have another setup like this. I have just found out the terrifying news that these steam engines actually only operate at half capacity. Amazing! Okay, turns out I was just an idiot who forgot to connect water to my left boilers. Oh god, I was gonna die if that were the case, but everything is fine, we're fine. No, never mind, we're not fine, I read that right. It's available power 3.5, it just wasn't supplying enough steam at any given moment. But <laughs> that's okay, I guess. I'll st at least I doubled the system, look at that, it's a doubled system. I've got this smashingly huge coal patch and I tell you, it's not gonna be enough for me, it's not gonna be enough. Well, that's enough doom and gloom for one day, let's make ourselves a collector, how ex- Oh, wow, that's a lot of handcrafting. Anyway! When in doubt, I'm gonna head to my quality of life research mods crafting speed bonus. It's the starting bonus to crafting speed, and I'm going to increase it to 10. And really hope that works. Oh, thank goodness. I'll just slap down the extremely hard to see collector. It's got these two cute little robots. Small parts, another item needed for automation science, are an easy um, bunch of handcrafting. Only seven iron and four copper for four small parts. Amazing, but there's a lot of recipes along the way. We also need this planter box, which requires ash. Ooh, a use for ash. How nice. Um, soil and an empty planter box. Let's focus on soil by getting ourselves a soil extractor. How easy. It's unfortunate that each planter box only requires one ash. I could really use something that will just use this enormous amount of ash I'm creating, but also I'm not really making it easy to extract the ash from these boilers, so chokes on me. Well, anyway, the soil extractor is running now that I've hooked it up to water right here. I think one of the last materials I need is stone bricks, and the basic ratio is about three stone furnaces to one electric money drill. It's not a perfect ratio, very sad, but it's okay. These boilers have already clogged up with ash once, and I think it's basically a ratio of one ash to one automation science pack, so I would need, like, 3,500 ash. 3,500 science pack, I can't do that. I guess I'll just find a way to delete them. Like, I don't know, putting down a chest and shooting it with firearm magazines. Really sad. 
But anyway, with stone bricks, wood, ash, and soil in my inventory, I can make planter boxes at will, and that means I'm basically ready to make- where is it, where is it? Automation science packs, by hand, amazing! Just look at those tasty 10 automation science packs, oh, I'm amazed. Okay, so I've got this freakishly tall lab, Lab Letherington, into which I shall place 10 automation science packs, and then I'll just press start research. Wow, amazing. Yay, automation science packs have been researched. Whatever shall I research now? I don't know. There's so many things, so many things. This lytle processing research doesn't seem to make any sense. Why don't we just do, I don't know, coal processing? That seems like one of the most important things in Pyanodon. Here's my cute little triangular setup for small parts. I was trying to figure out a way to have only one chest of iron that would deliver to both the iron sticks and the iron gear wheels, but the iron sticks are needed for both the air core inductors and the bolts, which the small parts machine needs, so if I want to use absolutely no transport belts, I have to have two chests for hand-feeding iron. But that's okay, because it doesn't really matter anyway. What does matter is that apparently assembling machines require fuel of some kind? That's so weird, oh my god. Here's my setup for planter boxes. I'm just going to- I'm going to feed soil from this soil extractor and feed ash in myself. And I'm going to put logs, which you get from trees, into this wood processing unit to make the wood for the empty planter boxes, into which I will also personally feed iron plates and stone bricks. I've doubled my iron system due to iron shortages. Now, with the iron and copper fueled up everywhere, we are making small parts, and we are making, um, planter boxes. So I just need to shove automa- uh, made of flora into this automation science pack creator, and we will have automated automation science packs. And by automated, I mean hand-fed. I've added a second collector here. They are collecting nothing, because they only have a tiny little bit of collectability. Because of the smallness of these native flora stacks, I'm going to make a special chest just for our system down here that will hold the native flora, and I'll probably put it- Oh no, my symmetry is gonna break. Oh well. And we now have coal processing, which gives us access to gas vents and tailing ponds, which can help us avoid items, and destructive distillation columns, which allow us to get things like tar and coal gas. Next up, I'll start steel processing. To celebrate the successful automation of all of this automation stuff, I have set up a chest in which I put much ash, and now I will destroy it. God, why is it taking so long? Come on, just break already. Please. <laughs> We're so close. Okay, finally. Next time I'm using a wooden chest. With steel processing done, I can now get the pie sinkhole in order to avoid liquids. How nice. However, I think that'll be my last research for now. I want to let you know what the next big milestone is going to be. It will be these vacuum tube electronics. It turns out, in order to even start getting toward the first normal Pyanodon science pack and getting better power, because our power right now is very bad, we need to have electronic circuits first. And it doesn't look like the electronic circuits are very much easier than they used to be. <laughs> Except that they don't require as much plant life, I guess, which is a good thing, I guess. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm excited, though. I get to make circuits before I even make the first, um, Pyanodon science pack. As you can see, however, we have a lot of work to do to get there, and it's going to be a fairly large recipe. But that's okay. I don't mind. I'm just going to make it happen. One more piece of bad news. While I was setting up my system, um, for improved power, I realized that I cannot make electric mining drills, and in fact, I cannot make electric mining drills until I get the electric mining drill technology in Pi Science Pack 1. So I guess the next best mining drill I can get is the fluid mining drill, which will mine anything but takes fluid for power and mines at, um, one quarter of the speed per second? Oh my god. Or I can use burners, but we know I'm not going to use burners. I'm really deeply disturbed. You know what? That's fine. Everything is fine. We will just do that eventually, I guess. I mean, the problem is that these electric mining drills... <sighs> ah. Okay, let me, let me think for a bit. It has become clear to me that I cannot just slap down electric mining drills willy-nilly and hope everything is going to be okay. Let me just research fluid mining drills here. A mod I have that calculates the rate at which inserters extract items says that this inserter will pull 1.67 items per second, which I have some mild difficulty believing. If this is true, however, one inserter will be sufficient to handle um, the needs of a single boiler. According to my calculations, one full belt from, an electric mining, from electric mining drills can support 12 boilers. 
whereas three mining drills can support roughly 10 boilers, just under 10 boilers. If you set up three mining drills in this way with the splitter toward the bottom of the mining drill, as long as it's to the right, you'll get almost a full belt of raw coal, which I am transporting to all of these boilers. I can support 10 total boilers along this line, but I'm just doing six for now. And the question is, of course, what to do with all that damn ash. That's where these underground belts come in. You can see I've created a space just on the edge of all of these boilers. Well, uh, okay, so this would be working if it were actually working, but when I put an inserter on the boiler, it just takes out the raw coal. So this was actually a total waste of time. I can't actually get rid of the ash. I have to pull it out myself. Why? Why? Okay, wait, never mind. Scratch everything. Apparently we have these things called mechanical inserters. And these mechanical inserters replace burner inserters, do not require power or fuel, and have a single filter slot so that I could whitelist ash. Better yet, according to the, the rate for these inserters of 1.2 per second, they are just barely enough to take all the coal into the boilers. Wow, incredible! With the help of some more belts and a shoot from the mini litter mod, I am now loading up all the ash into this chest, which I will occasionally shoot the life out of. Now, I realize this may be a question if you're wondering, where are you getting all of these electric mining drills? I'm getting from, from the Pi Quick Start mod, which honestly may need to be updated, since electric mining drills are no longer even allowed until you get to, like, the second science back. But anyway, I will just use what I have. I mean, the Pi Quick Start mod is very helpful, and I highly suggest that you get it regardless of whether you want to have the pure Pi experience or not. They've always recommended that you get the Pi Quick Start mod anyway. It's great. Otherwise, I would be doing this all with burners, and do not want to. All that said, however, we are now looking at a pretty complete and very expandable power system. Hopefully with the mining drills I have, I'll be able to expand it until the point that I need a new, better power system. Hopefully that does not come for a while. For now, however, that's it for today's episode. As always, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. I hope you enjoyed.